Hey team, Lieutenant General Scott Spellman here coming to you from the Great Walla Walla District. I'm here today with Dwayne Weston, the Chief of uh, Engineering and Construction at uh, Walla Walla District and Mr. Mike Jacobs, our uh, Director for the Cost Center of Expertise. And we had a great session this morning on some of the challenges, uh, Dwayne, that we're having mm -hmm. in cost engineering. Can you just share with the team, we're gonna spend some time at this at the next uh, executive governance meeting, but just generally, Dwayne, some of the challenges that you're seeing in some of the submittals that the uh, the Cost Center of Expertise is receiving uh, when we're trying to get to a certification. What are you seeing? I, I would say probably in general. One of the keys to cost engineering is just like every other engineering discipline that we have. Right. It is early involvement of the cost engineer. Yeah. It, have them at the table. Have them at the table. Right. Uh, yeah. 30%, you're talking about the scope. Yeah. Scope is one of the largest things that changes. Exactly. And if it changes, the cost changes. That's right. So early involvement of cost engineers at the table yeah. all the way through to the end. Can't do it in the last two weeks. That's right. Got to do it over, you know, three month period of the design. And, and then I would say, old cost estimates yeah old equals bad right you know they go out of date yeah inflation other things happen so yeah, yeah. so Dwayne you gotta keep them at the table you gotta yep. have them at the table early and then keep them at the table yep. throughout the life cycle as we're going through yeah. and, right. and and you can come up with the right number yeah. you, you don't need to be sp yeah. surprised by cost yeah it's not something to surprise we we don't get surprised yeah. when we build a building and we design it for winds and storms and rains right we shouldn't get surprised the environment that a cost estimate yeah. lives in right which is inflation and other things like that. So right. we can design for it. Great, thanks Dwayne. Now Mike, um, so we just had a great conversation. Um, we know we've got some work to do. We've got to recruit some more cost engineers and we, don't, we know we're not at the right number here uh, in the center and we know we've got some work to do out in the field as well. Yes, sir. You know, and looking, you know, pre-COVID, we had about 400 cost engineers right. across the core. And just looking at our latest update, we've, we're down to about 350 right now. And those right. 50 that left were all very senior experienced folks. So we really need to staff up. And with our unprecedented workload, we really need a couple hundred more cost engineers. Right. So really reaching out there and looking for those people with that right fit that really yeah. can figure out the job and, and, and take all those pieces together from that plans and specs and actually yeah. translate that into a cost estimate that actually shows what the realistic cost has to be done right. and, and the schedule along with that also. So yeah. huge need for growth in, in cost engineering right now, core wide. Yeah. So really pushing to try to help the districts right now, you know, find the right people, train them and then retain them also. Right. And Mike, there's a lot to talk about on this, but we just had a great conversation on the topic of innovation. And uh, what you shared with me is, we really don't need a lot of innovation here. We, we've got tools that we can help ourselves today. What, can you just tell the team what we, uh, we discussed sure, about sir, data? You know, yeah. um, looking at data, you know, we've got a lot of really good legacy systems that have a lot of data in them, but sometimes it's challenging to actually access that data. Right. You know, we've got the schedule and the actual cost for everything we've ever built in RMS, but to try to actually get in there and data mine that to make it useful information is really challenging. So I'd really like to see if we can yeah. leverage some of those existing systems we have to really make the data accessible and usable. Because right. we, I think we have the answer to a lot of some of the issues we're facing. We just need to overcome the challenge to actually get to it. That's right. And make sure it's in, and then, yeah also improve that when we collect it we actually as we move forward we collect it in a data in a data format that's really meaningful that's right so we can say hey we did this in 2022 now we want to do it again in 2029 right do we have the right data that it really right. is directly relatable and transferable yeah so to help those people in the future so yeah, that's exactly right so we're Sir. much more to talk about, and we just de dedicated about an entire day in the next EGM just to talk about cost engineering, just given the, 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 the market we're in right now and the Sir. environment, and uh, we've been here before, right? And Thank we're going to work our way through it. So Dwayne, just want to say thanks to you thanks, and Mike for a great morning out here in Walla Walla thank District. You, Everyone building strong.